Well, we're getting ready to go out and measure sound levels in the environment. We'll be using a noise dosimeter, which measures sound pressure levels in decibels. This particular monitor has a clip on the back, and it's designed to be attached to a worker's belt or back pocket. The microphone also has a clip, and it is designed to be attached to the worker's collar close to the ear. Now the monitor's display shows sound pressure levels in real time. The monitor can also be set to record sound pressure levels and give us a time-weighted average for an entire workday or for whatever length of time we're monitoring. Well, like all industrial hygiene monitoring equipment, we have to make sure our noise dosimeter is properly calibrated before we use it. But once a year, we send this device back to the factory for a complete check and calibration. Also, each time we use it, we do a field calibration just to make sure that it's still functioning properly. Now, every noise dosimeter is designed to be calibrated with sound at a particular frequency and intensity. This dosimeter is designed to be calibrated with sound at a frequency of 1000 Hertz and an intensity of 114 decibels. And this calibrator produces a pure tone of 1000 Hertz and inside the calibration chamber the intensity of the sound is 114 decibels. To calibrate our dosimeter, we first turn on the calibrator, then we place the microphone in the chamber. Next, we instruct the dosimeter to calibrate itself, and we watch the display to see if it passes. In this case, the dosimeter passes, so we know it's functioning properly, and now we can go out into the environment and measure our sound levels.